Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Foreign Correspondents Club of Japan. I welcome those who are here and those online attending our event today. Uh, it's about the Olympics. We have a group of intellectuals and former diplomats opposing the holding of Tokyo Olympics. Uh, while some people say it's too late already, it's imminent Olympics. And uh, it uh, reached the point of no return. We will have it next uh, in the coming few days. And it seems like Prime Minister Suga and his ally now, uh, Mr. Uh, Bach, he's a chairman of IOC, they are burned their ships and they are just going on course to the Olympic Village and the Olympic Stadium. And uh, everything is all set. But a uh, group of, uh, of people who opposed this Olympics, uh, up to 600,000 people signed uh, against that and uh, uh, maybe other websites. This is according to our guest. They said uh, uh, they have a big group of those who oppose the Olympics. They will tell us why in this press conference. Uh, before we start, let me introduce our guest speakers. Today we will start uh, with Mr. Yutaka uh, Imura. He's visiting professor, National Graduate Institute for Policy Studies. Also a senior fellow at GR, GRIPS Alliance, Alliance and former ambassador of Japan to France. And uh, secondly, we have uh, Ms. Chizuko uh, Ueno. She is chief director, certified NPO Women's Action Network, uh, socialist, uh, so, so, socialist gist, and professor emeritus <laughs> and, uh, at the University of Tokyo. Not socialist, sorry. <laughs> And uh, thirdly, we have uh, our colleague at the press club, uh, the journalist, Mr. Mikio Haruna. And uh, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our guest speakers today. And we start. Thank you. Can I? Thank you very much, Mr. President. Um, let me start. Uh, probably introduce ourselves. Actually, we are the group of uh, artists and intellectuals. And although I'm not an artist or either artist or <coughs> intellectual, I'm just simple former government official and ambassador to France and Indonesia as well. Now, uh, we, are, we formed our group uh, early July, just uh, three, four weeks ago, uh, and everybody has the same concern. Why do we have to accept this Olympic Games, which was and which is supposed to take place uh, in several days' time in uh, the um, uh, this difficult time of uh, not only Japan but also entire world? COVID-19 is raging, and it's very dangerous to hold these uh, games. So uh, we decided to, uh, through uh, uh, Change.org, uh, ask everybody who, is, who agrees with us to sign and uh, ask the government and Olympic organizers to stop doing this. Uh, that was uh, the beginning, and in just over two weeks' time, our group has uh, uh, gathered about uh, 140,000 uh, signatures. And in addition to uh, the uh, uh, Mr. Utsunomiya's group, which started uh, his activities uh, in May, and uh, uh, he has uh, more than 400,000 uh, signatures. And as uh, the Mr. President mentioned, probably uh, all in all, the number of uh, those who signed for asking and, uh, the government to s cancel this Olympic Games uh, goes up to 600,000, which is an uh, enormous number, actually. Uh, the uh, we are uh, uh, based upon those uh, support coming from uh, our uh, Japanese public, not only Japanese, but also the people from uh, all over the world, because we distributed, we uh, circulated our petition uh, in English, in German, in French, and uh, uh, in Spanish. 
uh, in addition to Japanese. So five languages. Uh, we wanted this uh, movement in international. So, uh, uh, and just one uh, thing which I want to add to what I said is uh, politically, we are uh, not, we don't belong to any political movement or political parties. We have uh, diversity of uh, political uh, views uh, from uh, radical left to, for, uh, to a moderate uh, conservative, maybe like me, uh, radical left, you can imagine probably. <laughs> 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 Professor Ueno may, may belong to uh, radical left. <laughs> no? I'm sorry, this is my <laughs> prejudice probably. And uh, uh, she will say what she believes politically, but this is not political movement. This is, we want to represent the feeling of Japanese public people uh, against the Olympic Games, which is going to take place. Um, why now? Uh, this, is it too late? It, well, certainly, it, it may, may be too late. Uh, but as often is said, uh, nothing is n never too late. Uh, I think we will continue to advocate for cancellation of Olympic. Um, one year ago, when uh, the Prime Minister Abe, uh, when he uh, postponed by, by one year the Olympic Games, I think he, the government was optimistic. And the uh, government uh, thought that Olymp uh, these Tokyo Olympic Games and Paralympic Games could take place uh, in much better conditions. But they failed to predict what could happen. The things has the conditions surrounding the Olympic and Paralympic Games have been deteriorating. On the one hand, uh, the number of currently number of uh, infected uh, people with COVID-19 uh, is uh, rapidly increasing. Uh, vaccination is incredibly low, uh, very low. Uh, proportion of uh, public is uh, vac vaccinated, which is, uh, as uh, Mr. Omi, who is advisor to the prime minister, said, uh, usually it cannot, ha it, we, it does not happen uh, under this condition. I mean, Olympic Games cannot happen under this condition. I think he said so, so some time ago. Uh, and uh, uh, the uh, what uh, is called the uh, bubble method, uh, which aims to separate uh, the athlete and the Olympic official, international Olympic officials coming from abroad, and uh, public and also those who are living in Japan separate, and so that uh, uh, the uh, the uh, COVID-19 and cannot spread. But I think as far as uh, we have seen, it has failed. And it will have fail. Uh, so uh, the, do you remember that uh, Prime Minister Suga said that the Olympic Games will take place uh, in safe and secure manner? He even committed himself in, uh, the, for example, at the, on the, uh, the, for example, at the, on the occasion of G7 summit, uh, if you remember, he said uh, the summit communique said that uh, uh, we, meaning G7 heads of uh, government and state, uh, reiterate support uh, for the holding of Olympics and Paralympics Games in Tokyo in a safe and secure manner as a symbol of global unity in overcoming COVID-19. That is exactly what uh, the uh, summit communique said. But uh, in two ways, uh, we, uh, we are not seeing uh, that this is becoming a reality. Safe and secure, would it to happen, and uh, 
is it a symbol of global unity in overcoming uh, COVID-19? Uh, I don't uh, think so. Uh, so we will see. Uh, we, we are not convinced by the government that uh, the, uh, the promise that Prime Minister made is actually a being realized. This is the f uh, second point. And third point is uh, if I, as you are uh, stationing and living in Japan, you may notice that uh, there are two kinds of feeling uh, in, among Japanese public. On the one hand, there is a strong anxiety. Uh, this, uh, as I mentioned, uh, increasingly uh, rapid uh, infection of COVID-19 and the vaccina low vaccination rate, and uh, some, among others. And uh, uh, this anxiety, I think, is now uh, turning into anger uh, against uh, what uh, the government uh, is uh, doing. Uh, and uh, as uh, Washington, Washington Post of yesterday uh, said, uh, probably hostility to Japanese uh, to uh, to uh, Japanese authorities and uh, Olympic organizers. Uh, the uh, um, we uh, this is uh, uh, the. And if you take a public opinion poll, uh, according to Asahi Shimbun public opinion poll, uh, about 60% of Japanese public is opposed to the Olympic, the holdings of Olympic Games. So, uh, in fact, the Olympic Games will probably, uh, I hope not, but will be taking place against this uh, oppos strong opposition on the part of public uh, not only Japanese, but also uh, international public opinion. And uh, I think we should continue to advocate for cancellation uh, of the Olympic Games uh, toward the end uh, so to show to the history that uh, we are not uh, compromising ourselves. We are not uh, accepting the government policy. And this uh, uh, sh picture should be, should remain in the history of Japan. Uh, this Tokyo Olympic Games takes place against public opinion. And this probably is the first time uh, in the history of Olympic Games that uh, games take place uh, in such a condition. Uh, so, uh, find out uh, uh, my, as I uh, uh, stationed twice uh, in uh, developing countries uh, in Southeast Asia, Philippines, and uh, Indonesia, uh, and I uh, exchange emails with my friends in, in Indonesia, and they are really in disparate conditions. Every day you have new uh, <coughs> the uh, infection. Uh, uh, the, uh, every day you have uh, uh, more than 40,000 uh, people infected with COVID-19. And uh, because of lack of hospitals, medical equipment, they are suffering. And uh, this is not only, as you know, this is not the only country which suffers in such a manner from uh, this uh, uh, pandemic. Are already Brazil, uh, India, now Indonesia, and India, uh, <coughs> member of these uh, suffering countries, and also Malaysia, many others. And this is not the time we hold Japan as a peace-loving nation, uh, hold the Olympic Games. Uh, I think we should uh, uh, concentrate ourselves on the measures to be taken place t uh, here 
in Japan to prevent uh, spreading of uh, COVID-19 and also uh, extending our hands to those developing nations which are suffering. And I think that is what my friends and our friends uh, in developing countries expecting us to do. And uh, of course, they uh, talked about at the G7 summit, talked about how to help uh, uh, developing world to uh, overcome uh, this uh, uh, pandemic. But uh, of course, it's not sufficient. And uh, uh, we need to spend more and work more for those uh, people living in the developing countries uh, rather than spending uh, our uh, money and our energy on the Olympic Games. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, I'm a radical feminist, but not the radical left. <laughs> Don't misunderstand me. Uh, you may be surprised to see this unlikely alliance between an ex-diplomat, Mr. Imura, and a notorious feminist scholar and activist, Ueno Chizuko, myself. <laughs> Believe it or not, we had never met before we started this campaign. Diplomats are those who would not resist the order from their home country. <laughs> and it's clear that Mr. Imura can feel free to say whatever he wanted to say only after his retirement. Yes. Is that correct? <laughs> yes. right. I was deeply impressed and moved. Even such a person like him wished to make a protest out of the sense of urgency, which made me to join him. As you know, we are at the state of emergency with this COVID-19 pandemic. What the Japanese government should do is to put the first priority on coping with the pandemic by mobilizing all the resources. On the other hand, the Olympic Games are the festival of peace, the objective conditions which allow to hold this festival has greatly changed from the time when the ex-Prime Minister Abe Shinzo decided to postpone the game uh, for one year ahead. We now face unpredicted risk of the new corona variants and the vaccination of the Japanese people are much delayed than planned. Only 20% of the entire population get vaccinated. I myself, belonging to the aged population, have not yet received the second vaccination. A year ago, Mr. Abe was convinced that Japan could produce a vaccine in one year, which turned out to be only his fantasy with any scientific evidence. Today, we depend 100% vaccine supply on other countries, meaning our government is incapable to guarantee the national health security. Many, many scientists and medical doctors have made a warning to stop the Olympic Games, but the politicians would not listen to their voices. With the, these conditions, it's insane, absurd, ridiculous to hold these games. We are now suffering from the, our poor political leadership. Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games are the world's most unwelcomed games by people of the host country. According to the opinion polls, more than 50%, he says 60%, of people oppose the games, and 70% of Tokyo metropolitan citizens do. There are several online campaign sites against the Tokyo Olympic Games, our site has collected nearly 140,000 signatures. Other side, started earlier by lawyer Utsunomiya Kenji, has reached 455,000. Another one to show how to cancel the games has gathered so far 63,000 until last night. To put them together, more than 600,000 people have joined us to protest against the games. This is not a small number. 
Mr. Abe called people against the Olympic Games as anti Japanese, which should be simply translated as anti Abe. Uh, if they are anti Japanese, he has uh, to admit more than half of the nation are anti Japanese. Our government, government have asked people to endure inconvenience. Many women have lost their jobs. Restaurant owners and chefs and service workers are squeezed at the corner. Doctors and nurses made us scream not to spread the infection. While the children are required not to make the school athletic games, why is such a large-scale sports event is an exception. While the people are urged not to dine out with more than two persons, the Tokyo 2020 Organizing Committee organized a welcome reception for President of IOC, Mr. Thomas Bach, last night. Originally planned inviting 500 people ended up with 40, but recently 15 bureaucrats had a dinner party causing infection cluster. When everyone is required to be patient, why not athletes? There is a growing hostility <clears throat> against sports games and players with a suspicion if they are so privileged and exceptional. We see a rise of negative sentiment against the Olympic Games themselves, which reminds people of the previous scandals one after another in the process of preparations. It's now proven that the Olympic Games are the decoy, decoy of commercialism and nationalism. All the factors have reminded us of the painful memory of our past when the Japanese government stepped into the reckless war, which was determined to end up with a defeat. I belong to the student power generation who accused our parents for their responsibility why they could not stop the war. Now, aged, I am in the position to be accused by the younger generation asking why do not stop these ridiculous games. As a post-war generation, we are no longer the Japanese imperial subject. And fortunately, to say no to the authority does not bring us death nor torture, unlike in Hong Kong nor in Myanmar. Living in the democratic country, we exercise our right to say no until the last moment, even during the games. We receive criticism saying it would be too late to cancel the Olympic Games, but we think it's our duty to record our opposition in history, and our protest has offered an opportunity to make a bunch of people visible who share our opinion. Using the term war is not simply a metaphor. War accompanies victims. Once the game invite any death of athletes, supporters, service workers, medical professionals, policemen, and volunteers. Who will take a responsibility and how? In addition, the Japanese nation uh, will be indebted with a tremendous cost left by the games. Who will pay the cost? Now, as you know, the fifth wave of the pandemic is, is starting. Tokyo may become a serious epicenter, causing a super spread of the new unknown variant, which may be called the Olympic variant. The world scenario would be a disruption after it starts due to the serious spread of infection. I'm sure such a situation will destroy the trust and the confidence of Japan and its nation, which will be fatal to the future of our society. I sincerely hope you, the, the international journalist, uh, will share our concern out of this sense of urgency and make a report to tell the truth 
to the International Committee. Thank you very much. Thank you. Haruna san. Hi. From <coughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. Uh, <clears throat> um, I think uh, everyone here uh, may agree that uh, only science can prevent infections, but neither the Japanese government and the International Olympic Committee, uh, IOC, uh, have not done good uh, preparations for the Olympic Games by reviewing, uh, scientif uh, reviewing scientifically every, possible, uh, every possibility. We have not uh, seen <coughs> Uh, infect, infection experts in the Tokyo 2020 Organizing Committee, or IOC. This Tokyo 2020 is originally politically motivated uh, from the <clears throat> bidding stage. And uh, only one year postponement was not well reviewed by the scientists. It was decided last year by <clears throat> former Prime Minister Abe only by himself. Since then, almost every policy uh, by the government, such as infection <clears throat> prevention, vaccine procurement, etc., has been wrong. We may see the worst case scenario during the games, in which many infections are found in the bulb, so-called bulb bubble, and many game schedules will be canceled. This can happen, actually. The worst case is a kind of disaster for everyone, including <coughs> athletes, government, IOC, and people of Japan. Then Prime Minister Suga and the government party will not be able to benefit from Tokyo 2020. It is not too late. Why not cancel it right now? Actually, <clears throat> the IOC has also <clears throat> big troubles already. Uh, <clears throat> you may not recognize troubles involving uh, IOC. IOC, particularly under President Thomas Bach, uh, <clears throat> has faced many serious troubles. Number one is the uh, doping issue. If there is no pandemic, I think the people pay much more uh, strong attention to uh, uh, doping. Actually, <clears throat> in 2016, CLS doping programs organized by Russian government and its intelligence agency were revealed. At that time, uh, World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA, recommended IOC to impose blanket ban on Russian uh, athletes. But President Buck refused to follow the recommend, recommended <coughs> recommendation and allowed Russian athletes participate not under Russian national flag, but Olympic flag. Mr. Buck did not explain the reason. Number two, uh, management style of Mr. Buck. Many strange decisions have been done by Mr. Buck, such as deci deciding two Olympic game cities 2024 for Paris and 2028 20, for Los Angeles at all 
once and the <clears throat> executive committee agreement without competition on 2032 uh, for Brisbane, Australia. IOC is a non-profit, non-government organization which is subject to audit by the <coughs> government of Switzerland only. It is a private entity not subject to accountability at all. But now it earns a lot of money, too much money, by contracts with NBC and other broadcasting for. The organization is easy controlled by a president, dominant, dominant type of person like Mr. Buck. I think IOC must be re reformed for better organization, subject to uh, democracy and humanity. Otherwise, we will see many more troubles within the IOC organization. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your presentations. We'd like to open the floor to Q&A. If you have any question, please raise your hand and proceed to the front mic. Richard. State your name and affiliation. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Eto Indonesia no media Tribune News no eto Susilo Richard to moshimasu. Eto Imura Taishi no hou ni eto honto ni sonkei shimasu no de naze to yuka sono mae Indonesia ano zai Indonesia Nihon Taishi no toki ga mono sugo subarashi Taishi da to moshimasu. De ima wa 反対活動やってるので、ちょっとびっくりした。本当にびっくりした。なぜというか反対活動より今もあと4日間ですから、えっと金曜日、えっと開会式やってますので、そのこの4日間が反対活動より、えっと先週の人たちに応援した方がいい
speak up against Olympic Games because this involves uh, en not only the entire nation of Japan, but also the uh, entire world. We are facing to the pandemic, worldwide pandemic. And uh, if uh, we cannot uh, control uh, the uh, pandemic, uh, uh, I think we will be seeing lots of more uh, sacrifice, uh, health, in terms of health and lives. And uh, we, see, we are seeing now uh, what can happen if we are not uh, careful enough uh, the, in what, what can happen in, in Indonesia. You are increasing the number of uh, people uh, infected with COVID-19. Uh, I'm not naturally blaming uh, the government of Indonesia and other uh, countries in Southeast Asia. But if we are not careful, and if we don't, uh, if we accept the Olympic Games in Tokyo as super spread event, then uh, we will see more uh, people, more countries uh, uh, affected by this pandemic. So this is. Uh, a difficult decision. Uh, which side uh, do you take? Uh, uh, athletes uh, who have been training or uh, the uh, uh, controlling uh, pandemic? And uh, I uh, sincerely believe that uh, for the sake of uh, humanity, I think we should uh, put a uh, priority on fighting against uh, uh, COVID-19. Thank you very much. Thank you. May I add one thing? Uh, to me, it seemed that the athletes are also victims. They are sent to Japan, which is actually uh, a very dangerous zone for everyone. And uh, so uh, their, their country, uh, I mean, forced to <coughs> send sent them to, the, to this dangerous zone. Uh, and also, uh, they have to refrain uh, from going out and uh, uh, shopping and tourism and uh, everything. And, uh, and also, uh, under this pandemic, we all, uh, the, all the nations and the guests and everyone are suffering from the, this pandemic. Why are the athletes ex exceptional? And so uh, we endured it, it, this in, inconvenience and painful experience and conditions. So in this sense, you know, the, it is also uh, the duty of athletes. They, they cannot be exceptions. So uh, th their duty to share, uh, uh, I mean, inconvenience and the hate uh, 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 and, uh, and this situation. Thank you. I received a question online from Anthony Rowley. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, please, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I'm sorry, I was wearing sunglasses uh, without noticing. And my wife uh, sitting over there uh, sent me email uh, to put off <laughs> eyeglasses. <laughs> I'm very sorry about this uh, inconvenience that might have caused uh, to you. All right. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Rowley is. SCMP, he asked, what is the panel's estimate of cancellation costs at this point? How much canceling the Olympics will cost Japan? Uh, that is already uh, inquired a lot of uh, losses financially. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I think this is too difficult to answer, as we are not uh, expert on, uh, on, on the side of uh, economic side of uh, the Olympic Games. There is one group of experts who, who has been working on, on, the, uh, uh, the, on, the, on the economic side of uh, particularly how much it would uh, cost if we cancel and how much do we have to pay to the companies and the sponsors, etc. They have been uh, uh, <coughs> the uh, working f hard to figure out how much it would cost if we can, so, so, but we are not experts on this side. Thank you. 
Anybody wants to ask? Yes? Please. You can lift it. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Yusuke Wada, associate member here. Uh, just for the record, um, two, exactly two years ago, I was trying to um, organize a press conference with uh, Ms. Wenachisko uh, here um, about uh, Oirase Summit. Mm -hmm. And uh, the FCCJ was very hesitant uh, since due to Olympics uh, being held back then. And this year we have this facility closed for, uh, since from Thursday. There's nothing we can do about it. And my question is, since you have a lot, uh, such a uh, vast majority of, um, of political uh, supporters from far left to far right um, about the uh, opposition of Olympics, um, with this such a diversity, um, if we were to have a general, who, which party do you think will win? <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm not sorry, maybe you expert on this. No, uh, at this moment, uh, nobody knows. But uh, <clears throat> I think uh, the government parties, including LDP and uh, Komeito, will lose many more seats uh, more than uh, expected. You think which? Kind of part, which party will win, or instead of we will, we probably know which will. Uh, I think. No, uh, no one can predict. <laughs> All right, any more questions? Yes, please. Uh, <clears throat> Mary Corbett, Kressner Media. I'm, ri I'm writing for several outlets uh, during the Olympics. So I have a question to all three of you, if you have an opinion. So if we have an outbreak, because already we've tested, I think, three, four separate groups of... Uh, kind of, you know, uncertainty or of the uh, responsibility uh, made us quite concerned. Yes, any question? Okay, let me fill the gap. I ask question. We still have 10 minutes to go. Uh, I, I felt that you are blaming uh, former Prime Minister, Mr. Abe, for the whole thing. And you said he is behind the Olympics, uh, Japan hosting the Olympics, and he is behind the postpone, and he's behind one year. And it's like I felt you are talking about kind of North Korean leader. But Japan is a democracy, and I don't think a leader can take a decision that easy in Japan, and uh, I think you, you have also a lot of business uh, prepared for the Olympics, and uh, there are many opinions that the Olympics was very good for Japan, especially after the Fukushima crisis, also the construction uh, sector was uh, complaining about that because there were no, not enough uh, construction companies to uh, rebuild uh, Fukushima. Anyway, uh, it seems that the reason is beyond the human capabilities. Like it's a virus and nobody knows. Even the big superpowers are suffering. So why do you blame one person only uh, about the whole thing? And uh, do you have any proof that if you don't hold the Olympics, uh, Corona will be defeated or you will be better off without the Olympics? Thank you. Um. I'm just taking uh, the devil's like uh, seat. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for your uh, question. I'm not. Uh, uh, I I don't think I'm uh, blaming only one person. Uh, if I given that impression when I talked, uh, uh, I, I think uh, uh, it's uh, not co uh, correct impression that you got from my statement. I think the Olympic Games uh, takes place uh, as a result of. Uh, combination between uh, political, number one, political benefit, number two, economic benefit, uh, number three, uh, the uh, uh, national sentiment, nationalism. Uh, many elements combined uh, into the decision which was made to hold Olympic Games uh, uh, in 2020. But if you, I do remember, uh, I'm like behaving like Mr. Mr. Suga, uh, he talk, always talks about the Olympic Games 64. Uh, I was a high school student. At that time, 
when the Olympic Games was uh, taking, took, took place in Tokyo, there was a really uh, uh, high uh, uh, emotion, uh, the uh, positive sentiment prevailing among the public. Uh, but this time, when the, this is my impression, but when the, there was a decision on the part of the International Olympic Co Committee that uh, Tokyo would be uh, <coughs> the place where the next Olympic Games would take place. I don't think there was uh, uh, there was uh, any uh, ec the uh, 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 positive response. At, at, at best, there was uh, there was uh, uh, indifference, uh, and uh, as far as I'm talking to my friends and my. Uh, uh, my uh, families, uh, they are not, uh, they are indifferent to the de decision which was taken. Because people was feeling, people are feeling that uh, this was, uh, there was political uh, interest, there were political, economic, uh, uh, private companies' interest, uh, and uh, some uh, sector of uh, uh, Japanese society, which thinks that we could uh, uh, we could the, uh, the promote the uh, nationalism uh, through uh, uh, this Olympic Games, uh, which is I think which is very wrong. But we are, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not blaming personally um, uh, Mr. Uh, Abe. Mr. Abe took a uh, wrong decision when he uh, postponed uh, the game by one year. One year was uh, not uh, probably not enough, and he should have listened to uh, scientists and uh, uh, professionals on the COVID-19 whether uh, uh, the one year was enough to overcome uh, this uh, pandemic. Thank you very much. Uh, we still have about eight minutes for questions. All right. Let me ask uh, your Haruna san. Yeah, yeah. You you talked about uh, the uh, IOC president, mm -hmm. Mr. Bach, or Bach. Uh, he's kind of dominator or dictator. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, and there are some reports that uh, the AOC, IOC is kind of full of corruption or something like that. I don't oh, know. I yeah, read that. Yeah. Do you have any like uh, reason to uh, to believe that the pandemic is good news for the IOC to cover up. Good news? Uh, I mean, do you have like evidence oh, to say? Oh. I mean, good news by, uh, like, to for them, like uh, the, the the pandemic helped them to cover up. Basically, do you have any uh, serious evidence about that? Thank you. Yeah, um, I, I do not know, you know how to answer your question. Probably. Uh, because IOC is responsible for yeah. counseling, not Japan, Don't, I heard, yeah, right? right? Technically. But uh, they need uh, actually uh, money also at this time. Uh, <clears throat> they have a contract uh, with NBC uh, valued uh, or about uh, $1 billion for one uh, Olympic Games. And uh, <clears throat> so they may lose. Uh, uh, that kind, that amount of money, if uh, this uh, tw Tokyo 2020 is cancelled. Mary, I feel you have. Uh, yeah, please. Can you ask her to put off uh, mask? Yes, yeah, so, あ、すいません。えっと、NHK きつつあるところもあって日本の状況っていうのが、まあ、海外が
海外の人たちにとって日本がどういう状況なのかっていうのが分かりにくい、まあ、あとメディアの方もあの来られて14日間はどこにも出られませんので日本の状況を伝えることもできないっていうのが日本の状況が知られてないというような状況があ,のあるとも思ってますそういう中で今あのお三方ここで、えっと、外国特派員協会で、えー、訴えて会見を開かれている海外に対してなぜこう訴えているのかどういったことを伝えたいのかというところを教えていただけますでしょうか。May I ask you what kind of message are you going to convey to the international community by having this conference at FCCJ?、Uh, my question comes from the fact that In the、uh, EU and、uh, North America, vaccination coverage is wide, and the people are becoming to uh, uh, re- uh, have the normal life back.、Uh, how, in that context, they would not know what's happening exactly in Japan because journalists in Japan have 14 days quarantine. They cannot really、uh, tell what's happening uh, in Japan uh, out,、uh, to the outside world. So, my, that, that is the context of my question. What exactly would you like to tell、uh, the international community?、Hmm. Uh, well,、uh, we are now under the unpredicted condition、uh, in all over the world. And、uh, the Olympic Games、uh, is the、uh, international games. This should not be only a national concern, but And the international concern, that's what do we do? Can I also answer to、uh, Matsuda san's question? I think there are two points.、Uh, number one,、uh, this、uh, Olympic Games takes place in a very dangerous situation in terms of、uh, the pandemic and COVID 19.、Uh, that is、uh, the first point. And second point is、uh, the government. Uh, knowing or not knowing, I don't know.、Uh, the government、uh, g o ahead with the original plan of holding the games、uh, despite the majority of Japanese public,、uh, 60 to 70 percent of Japanese public opinion,、uh, is the,、uh, this idea、uh, holding the Olympic Games. And we want to show. To the、uh, outside world through uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the helping hands on the part of、uh, foreign correspondents、uh, and also Japanese media that、uh, Japanese internation is supporting what、uh, the government is doing. We are concerned about what the government is doing. Uh, this is already, I think,、uh, reported in a variety of、uh, foreign newspapers,、uh, for example,、uh, Washington, uh, Forbes, uh, Washington Post, recently they wrote articles、uh, regarding the Japanese situation in Japan, and、uh, the government goes against public opinion. Uh, but uh, I think if you may ask me the question, Uh, th- those are two messages that th- we want to convey to the world. Yeah. Uh, Marison, uh, uh, I think I was told、uh, by a person who is knowledgeable about inside the, the government、uh, <clears throat> they have a kind of a precondition that there will be no infection within the bubble. That is the,、uh, their precondition. I think that's not science at all. Only one minute because they have to leave, but please, very quick question. We, yes, quick, quick. one minute, please. <laughs> あの開催都市契約あ、えーと、アソシエイトメンバーの佐藤と申します、佐藤イズマイネーム、アソシエイトメンバーあの、開催都市契約によると、結局あの、このオリンピックを中止できるのは IOC だけだと言われてますが、あの皆さん、こうやってあのうんなんかお話を伺っていると、こういう運動があの歴史に残るんだっていうことで、実はもったいないなと思ってるんですね。で誰がこの
開催,まあ、開催を中止できるか、開催をすることをやめる決断をして、IOC に申し入れるか、これが大事だと思うんですけれども、あの思い切って、このやめるっていうことを言える人がいたらですね、結局、IOC がこの後で訴えてもですね、IOC は先ほどあの、皆さんおっしゃってましたけれども、結局、国家ではありませんから。それでもって、あの多分法廷に出て戦った場合に、中止は認められると思うんですね、結局、誰がその中止を申し入れるかというところで、あの皆さんの動きがです、ね、そこまで多分動,く動かさない、はいはい、と思われるんで、ちょっとあの頑張っていただきたいなと思ってるんですけども、いかがでしょうか。Sato from Associate.、Um, I hope your、uh, movement will be successful because it's such a great one. It's not to be、um, left in the history, but it should say something now. According to the contract, it says that it, it is the IOC that can uh, uh, cancel the games. However, I do think that if someone takes the responsibility to say this is going to be cancelled to the IOC, and、uh, since IOC is not a state、uh, entity, it cannot win at the court room if this is,、uh, can become a lawsuit. So the cancellation will be accepted. So, what do you think of that view? Thank you.、Um, I'm not a lawyer, and I、uh, probably can not、uh, give you a legal answer to your questions. Uh, but uh, uh, as、uh, United Nations Secretary General mentioned at the General Assembly of WHO, Uh, about a month ago, he said,、uh, he said the, the world is at war against the pandemic.、Uh, this is a very important statement on the part of the United Nations Secretary General. We are at war at,、uh, against with the pandemic.、Uh, so, this is not a normal situation. This is an、uh, abnormal situation. And、uh, whether The contract that the city of Tokyo、uh, concluded with international Olympic committees will st can stand uh, in the, uh, uh, the, the uh, emergency situation. Probably this is、uh, something that we can have a、uh, uh, uh, legal uh, dispute. But I'm, I'm sorry, again, I'm not、uh, a legal expert.、Uh, but that is.、Uh, Uh, eventually, uh, if the、uh, Japanese government and uh, uh, the Tokyo Metropolitan Office and the International uh, Japanese uh, Organizing Committee decide s、uh, to cancel, probably、uh, this is one of the points to be discussed among them. Thank you very much. This wraps up our event today. I appreciate very much your coming here. And、uh, I learned from you that you are going now to Tokyo government to meet the deputy governor to give him the、uh, letter of opposition again. So、uh, you have a long day to work. And uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, we, we hope uh, that uh, no harm ha <laughs> happens in the Olympics, or regardless of i t s、uh, continue or not. And、uh, that's it for today. Thank you, everybody, for watching this online and for coming here. And、uh, I wish you a very nice afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And special thanks for our interpreter.